great good morning officers i am sumit kumar singh welcome all of you in magatputri youtube channel my dear friends today in this video we are going to discuss the khelo india skills so if you are the first time on my channel then like it share it and subscribe it for daily current affairs point by summary and new analysis related to upsc civil service and all competitive examination i will provide you short and sweet summary and analysis and in a point wise with its significance its importance its aim its uh, pros and cons its advantages disadvantages and limitations and many more things related to uh, one topic now today in this video we will discuss the khelo india so let us start uh, the union minister of youth affairs and sports sri kiran rizizu chair the first general council meeting of the khelo india skills so it is the first general councils this is chaired by the kiran rizizu a union minister of youth affairs and sports in the khelo india skills so aims what are the aims of this khelo indias uh iskems or the first council meeting the aims is effort to identify a large number of grassroots level talents and to make india as a sporting superpower so these are the aims of the khelo india iskems or the first council meeting of the khelo india iskems identify we have to identify a large number of Uh, players, sports persons, athlete at the grassroots level, from the village level, from the um, block level, from the panchayat level, from the district level, as well as from the state or national level. So we have to find out at the grassroots level. It starts from the grassroots level. Talents or athletes, sports persons, players in different different disciplines of sports, and make India as a sporting superpower. Make India as a superpower in the field of sports or games. So these are the aims. Aim or uh, now move forward. A plan. What is the plan under the uh, Khelo India movement? The point number one is active participation of the states. In this plan of Khelo India schemes or the first council meet to active participation of the state. now state uh, are in um, the center are encouraging the state to participate actively in the khelo india schemes and it is the annual schemes it means that it will uh, um, happens in each and every years and at a national level like the khelo india schemes youth games universities games it also included university or youth games or uh, at uh, india levels or university games at the university level youth games related to youths and many other games in point number 4 identification of a talent uh, the plan is to identify the talent as young as possible like 5 to 10 years uh, old and groom them for future competitions if uh we find the 5 to 10 years old and groom them for future competitions so that the athlete to become a bright in their performance after 18 to 20 years uh now in point number 5 8 years need to groom an athlete for olympics uh, uh, average data so that at least 8 year need to groom or build up an athlete uh, like uh, olympians or olympics so identification as early as possible as 5 to 8 10 years so 8 years uh, by the training of this athlete uh, need to groom 8 year to 5 to 10 if you find a grassroots level a child and grassroots level athlete at the um, suppose at the uh, age of 10 and after 8 years of uh, grooming or uh, training it becomes 18 the, at the stage of 18 years the players the athlete become the um, champion of their field of uh, sports or their games so identification yearly chances of olympic podium is high if we find high if we find yearly in a uh, age and uh, groom them 8 years and train them 8 years then the 
um, getting chances of uh, Olympic medals is very high. Now move forward. Competition at the various level. The competition uh, will be held at various levels like the first is Panchayat levels, the second is uh, block levels and the third is at uh, district levels and the fourth is state levels and the fifth is at the national levels. So these are the various levels of the competitions. Now the Journal Talent Scouting Committees will be set up. Plan to set up a Journal Talent Scouting Committees. The point number one, the plan for East, West, North, South and Northeast. Plan to set up a East, West, North, South and Northeast uh, Journal Talent Scouting Committees. Point number two, state assist these committees in identifying talent at a grassroots level in 24 sporting disciplines. State are assisted by the center or these committees in identifying talent at the grassroots level in 24 sporting disciplines. And uh, point number three, trained at state government, trained by state government or trained at state government or SCT. Uh, center. So these are the important topic of uh, journal talent scouting committees are planned in East, West, North, South and Northeast and state assist these committees in identifying talent at a grassroots level. So these are the important topic or uh, there is a plan to set up the journal talent scouting committees. Next, state sporting infrastructure for athlete training. There is need to for state sporting infrastructure for athlete training. State Sporting Infrastructure for Athlete Training and also embark Khelu India State Center of Excellence. Means Khelu India State Center for Excellence KISCE uh, need to embark or uh, the state need to set up and eight states already set up KISCE and the center is ready to fund and support. The central government is ready to fund and support the KISC. So these are the um, uh, states sporting infrastructure need to be developed for hosting the games or uh, athletes for their the training and many other things. So eight state already set up the KISC, the Kelo India State Center of the Excellence and uh, all state, you know, all eight state of India need to be set up these KISC. Next. Uh, my channel is Magad Putra YouTube channel so like share and subscribe it thank you have a great day